Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are actually going to be taking a look at AeroChat, which is a custom Discord client and it looks like Windows Live Messenger from 2009. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and install it on Windows 7 and I'm going to take you through a quick rundown of its feature set. Now, the link will be in the description for where to get this from. Uh, sites up here also, it's aerochat.live. A quick disclaimer though, using custom Discord clients is against Discord's terms of service. So if you're going to do this, do it at your own risk and maybe not use your main account. With that being said, once you've got on to the aerochat.live website to download it you can actually go and click on download now and it's going to ask you how do you want to download it it's and you can just click on download the latest version of aerochat so it's going to download really quickly And once it's done, you can double click on it. It's gonna give you a UAC prompt and you can click on yes. Now you can click on next and you can select if you want to install it for just me or for anyone. I'm gonna install it for anyone using this computer. Destination folder, you can obviously choose that, but I don't want to. I'm gonna click install and the installation was completed successfully. So now we can hit next finish and it will load up AeroChat. Okay, so once you open up AeroChat, it's going to give you this. And it looks like the, it says Windows Live Messenger, but it is AeroChat. This is just the theming, obviously. So it wants your Discord token, or you can log in via password, but it requires WebView 2, which I haven't been able to get working. So for me at least, the only way to actually sign in is through your Discord token. And I'm gonna have links in the description for how to obtain this, cause it's different on whatever browser you're using. If you're using Brave, Firefox, Chrome, Edge, uh, whatever, it's different. So I'm, actually, I'm just gonna grab my Discord token and I'm going to meet you back here. Okay, so I'm gonna paste in my token and it's obviously uh, blurred out and we're gonna click sign in. Okay, so if you get this, like we can't sign you into Discord, the reason why is this. So if we pretend this is our Discord token, it's, it's not, I just typed in some random letters. Um, when you get your Discord token, it's going to have quotation marks on each of the opposite ends. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove these, dis these um, quotation marks from each end, and you're going to want to copy and paste it without them. And once you've done that, it will work. And just like that, I am now signed in. So when you pop it up, you're going to get a notice just saying AeroChat is in early development and a lot of features are unimplemented. So this is just going to be the case with any sort of, you know, side project like this. There's not, not every feature from Discord is going to be supported. A lot aren't. Even calling and video chat aren't server management isn't, the emoji picker isn't. So this Discord client is very much a, a um, nostalgia trip more than anything, which is still great and I love it. So you can click on continue and I'm just on an alt account here because I don't want to show my entire server list and all my friends, but you're gonna see your friends under conversations and you're going to see your servers under well servers so as you can see for the purposes of this account i'm only in 
one server, which is the official Arrow Chat server, and I have a conversation with my real Discord account, the one that I actually use. And along with that, you can also change your... I'm not really sure what this is in Discord, but it's whatever... Whatever this is, your, I guess, like, short message, you, you can change that. So I can change this to something like arrow chat, chat, and we can quickly go over to my desktop capture and in here it does say arrow chat. Uh, another thing you can do is you can change the background here, the scene, which is what this calls it, what arrow chat calls the scene. Give it a second to load if it freezes up there and you can customize it. So there's a lot of different stuff in here. You've got the Windows XP Bliss, you've got um, what Xbox Green, Halo 2. There's even some 2000s flashbacks in here like Half-Life 2, Windows Vista. Uh, if you're into Linkin Park, there's Meteora. There's a lot of different themes in this, Need for Speed. I believe that's Need for Speed. Yeah, Most Wanted. So I'm gonna leave it for now on the default one, although uh, Halo 2, Halo 2's fitting. So moving on, you also get the option to show menu. I guess that does, okay, so those buttons, those don't really do anything. You can customize your your status here. So if we go into the actual Discord site and we take a look down here, it says I am idling. That's what the away one is. I can here appear busy, which just goes into do not disturb. And I can do available, which is just online. And it also appears to... So it um, just different different status options will change the color around your border, which is really cool. Um, you're also able, what else are you able to do? You can also open up a conversation with a person, in this case, uh, my real Discord account, and you can send messages. And we can actually pull up my real one here alongside it, just for the sake of this and we can type in here something like hi and it will pop up here under in in discord as well i can i can send a message back on my normal account and it will also pop up a little pop up notification box in the corner anytime you get a new notification and you're not in arrow chat in this case, it popped it up because I was hovering over my web browser, not, I wasn't in narrow chat. Uh, another thing you can do if we close out of this is you also have servers. Actu actually, before we do servers, I'm just gonna show a bit more basic stuff. So you can also add and send photos. So if I wanna send a photo, you actually cannot just open up your file browser and then like drag the photo Okay, actually you can. That wasn't working before. And then you can click uh, enter and it will it will uh, send your photo. Just like that. You can also send files. And this is a bit of an interesting one. So you can absolutely send files. It will upload. But you actually can't download them. So it shows up here and the recipient, if they're on the real Discord client, they will be able to download them right here, but it won't actually give you the option in Arrow Chat to download them. Um, other things here that don't work, including games, activities, it's these aren't implemented right now. Share isn't implemented either, and neither is block. A interesting one you can do is you can actually click on this um, button here, and it will 
nudge the chat, which I'm pretty sure just gives, it gives them an update. So if I switch over to my computer, my real Discord, and I nudge, it will send a update here. And on the on my Windows 7 machine with AeroChat, it will shake the screen, which is kind of cool. Another thing you can do is when you type messages, you can also, I guess, send little scribbles. And you can see you can undo them. You can do an eraser. And you can just send it and then it will it will send that. That's actually really cool that that's built in. I don't know if that's in the actual Discord client, but if so, that's cool. So moving on to servers, you can open up server chats here. And they do appear to be themed. So in here, um, same idea, I'm not going to spam the um, Discord chat here and arrow chat, but you can send messages. You're also able to obviously scroll through the chats. You can click open on images. Actually, let's just send one right now. And there we go. Um, I also have seen that voice chat may or may not work. I haven't really gotten the chance to test this out, but officially it's very buggy. So I'm not really sure on the status of voice chat in Arrow chat, but that is a quick tour of the the Discord alternate well Discord alternate Discord client Arrow chat, and it is available for download. Actually, before we go, it periodically gives you these little um, banners on the bottom and they're like advertisements for products from back in the day so i believe around 2009 2010 right here um in this case i guess this one's linux mint and they do change periodically which does seem to be co really cool ms paint adventures what's that i'm i'm getting distracted it's really cool though with that being said that's all for today, and as always, stay retro, and I'll catch you in the next video.